Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you a design team project for Ephemera's Vintage Garden. <coughs> um, this project was uh, made using the Mabel's Diary Kit. Um, all the links will be below in the description box. And at the moment there is 30% off this kit, so if you want this kit then jump on over um, and grab yourself a bargain. This kit really took me out of my comfort zone a little bit. <coughs> um, it was, um, it's, it's got a mixture of vintage with kind of mixed media um, and I have done a few things that I haven't done before, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I've got a new camera set up at the moment because I'm working indoors and it's not the greatest so I do apologise. Um, looking for my daughter because <clears throat> everything's just on the table. Um, this journal here measures, <clears throat> excuse me, is eight and a quarter by five and a half it has a two and a quarter inch spine um, I've used uh, a cereal box for the cover um, this is just some black cardstock and it's been <clears throat> mod podged um, to, to give like a book feel to it um, done some layering on the front cover here and it's all been mod podged um, the back is just one of the um, I think this was actually designed for like the, the covers and if not that's what I've used it for <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me so I will do a oh, I'm just trying to get it in frame um, so inside I've used one of the kind of mixed media pages here um, and you know this can actually be coloured in you can journal on there um, there is four signatures. I've used all the tabs on the side as well which I can write on there. Um, there is some stamping, I've made some pockets, I've used some scrap pieces of paper in, inside this as well. Um, here I've, I've got a pocket, now I need a tag. Um, so disorganised in here at the moment. <clears throat> Um, so here I've done some layering and created a side pocket. Um, I've used some of the elements from the kit and I've um, just inked it up with some walnut stain. Um, I've kind of left it open so you could actually tuck something um, up inside there if you wished. Um, here this page is just like a decorative page with a small element here to, to journal on. Uh, this was just a little like button um, from the kit and just a scrap piece of paper so we've got somewhere to journal. <clears throat> uh, these are pockets um, in the kit and I've just used them this way. A lot of people have used them um, because they're joined you can have like one that side and one that side. I chose to do it that way. Um, it's just a tag. Got another pocket here and that's free to add some photographs and here um, I'm not sure if this is a yes this is a, a tuck here and this has been left opened there as well here we've got a pocket and I've just used this from the kit um, and here and these have all been left open so I can actually tuck things inside there if I wish Got another pocket here. There's a doily tuck there and here. Um, these I actually cut down a little bit um, and just glued them onto the page and just um, added this decorative piece here. Some more stamping, some journaling pages. Here there's just some journaling spots that you can uh, write on. It's the first signature. The papers are so rich and um, elegant looking, they're just you just couldn't cover them over. Um, this was some of the uh, ledge paper from the kit and I just printed that out onto some um, just normal coffee paper and then uh, tea dyed it, or coffee dyed, I can't remember. Some stamping, some more layering here, oh that is a tag there, um, so that's the tag in there with just a, a little bit of red and green going on there. Here we've got a, a pocket there. This is my favourite page. Um, 
it's I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Just use some scraps here and a little bit of scrap lace. Um, here I fussy cut the bird out from um, one of the pages, added it onto this piece here and then the back paper here is the polka dot paper that you will see elsewhere through the journal. Um, this is what I meant by using the, I've left the, the strings on here because I may add some bits to this, um, like some hearts or something, because um, this is going to be a working journal for me. Um, so yeah, we've got pockets here. And here, this is one of the little envelopes, and I'll just glue that in the middle. And it's also a tuck spot. I'll just put a paper clip there, so you can always tuck things in behind here. This is left so that you can tuck in behind there too. It's lovely polka dot paper. Here again, I, I trimmed that down and, and popped that onto one of the coffee dyed pages. Here we've got another tuck spot, some more journaling pages, another one of the ledger <coughs> papers, got a doily tuck here and here, some journaling spots there. Um, here is a, like a belly band and it's got some lace here with one of the elements from the kit and here is just a little stopper so that what you tuck in there isn't going to fall out the bottom. It's just got that natural, just wants to close up on you. <laughs> Another pocket here and here. Uh, I've got a pocket there. Some more journaling spots on there. Here we've just got a, a plain pocket. I feel really strange working at this angle. Another pocket there. These I just cut down um, and just glued them onto the page so those you can write on there. Here's another tuck spot. Uh, it's a decorative page and it's just for journaling. Some more doily tucks there and some stamping. And I did use quite a bit of this kit. There is so much with this kit. It's probably one of the largest kits I've ever worked with. Um, and it's, you could just keep going and going and going. <laughs> um, here we've just got a belly band there and a decorative piece here. Um, this is a tuck. It's tuck in there and just behind there. And this is all glued down. Again, it's another decorative piece. A little pocket there. Some more pockets here. Again, a page that I've cut down from the kit and just uh, coffee dyed it and glued it on. Here we've got um, some decorative pieces here with a little banner there and this is all left open so you can tuck things in there and tuck something inside there too. Uh, fussy cut this lady out here and just glued her there and the doily is open so you can tuck things in behind the doily too. Another pocket. Another tuck here and there. Another doily tuck and here you can tuck behind the doily and you can tuck inside there too. And that is the back page. <clears throat> so this really was a lovely journal um, to make. Um, I like the size of it, it's you know it's a nice big journal. Love the tabs on the side, love the colours of it, it's just so so pretty um, to work with and I would really recommend um, you know, if you've got that vintage theme when you like making journals and you're, you should really go and buy this kit. <clears throat> um, like I said, all the links will be below. Um, and don't forget it's 30% off. Um, so go on over. If you have any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching. Bye.